What if you could better educate children living in a remote village who lack access to specialized instruction? What if you could manage traffic so gridlock doesn't stop your city during rush hour? What if you could provide state-of-the-art high-tech medical care to people living in remote communities? What if governments could use technology to better deploy city services, such as garbage removal, and reduce costs in the process? What if a boy who dreams of playing in the Premier Leagues could finally stream his favorite team's games? If you look for the answers, you won't find them in what's out there. But you might find them in what's not there. It's called white space, and it's a renewable natural resource found in unused radio frequencies. These unused white space frequencies can be used to increase available bandwidth, improving the quality of broadband connectivity. And lots of these unused frequencies are located between TV channels. Signals sent out on these unused TV frequencies travel far and penetrate trees, walls, and other solid objects, inexpensively extending the reach of Wi-Fi and other wireless broadband technologies currently limited to using higher frequencies. What can TV white spaces enable? You can manage traffic in your city minute to minute, adapting the infrastructure to accommodate conditions. You can more efficiently deliver public services. You can have medical resources be available for preventive care. By reducing the cost of broadband connectivity, a school can now become part of the global village. The only thing stopping this from happening is the lack of favorable, consistent regulations allowing white space technology to be deployed on an unlicensed or license-exempt basis. People and the devices they use will finally be better connected by tapping into the TV white space available in your country.